I can remember Wendy and I sitting down talking about our kids and thinking, gee, aren't we lucky our kids never get sick other than the odd occasional cold? And then one particular weekend, um, we noticed that Victoria had a bit of a limp. It was a relatively uh, sudden event, so she had been fine and then over a uh, weekend or so, her, the family noticed that she just wasn't uh, on her, steady on her feet as well as she had been. And unfortunately, a scan showed that um, she had uh, a tumour, a brain tumour. He told me that my daughter had a brain tumour that they had to operate as soon as possible and that there was a there was a possibility she may not make it. That week we came home, they gave us seven days. And I remember one day we were down at the surf and she's laughing her head off and I'm saying to myself, you have to enjoy this moment because in a matter of days she may be dead. She went on to have an operation on the tumour. The tumour was able to be partially removed but unfortunately not totally because of where it was. The tumour came back as a relatively what we call a lower grade tumour, however it needs therapy because of its uh, position. We don't want to use radiation because of how young Victoria is. So we went on and gave her chemotherapy. Unfortunately the therapy is an every week chemotherapy, has a huge disruption on the family and obviously Victoria herself. Every time we go to hospital, one of the encouraging things for Victoria is when I say, OK, once you've had your blood taken, you can go to the Starlight Room. It makes the whole process easier. It's not like you're going to have your blood taken and then you're going to have to sit in the sterile room for two hours and watch a DVD, which gets a little boring after a while. So just having that facility there makes it, the job as a parent a lot easier and also for the child, obviously, a lot easier. When we get there, I feel like it's not very much fun. But when I get in and to Starlight Room, it's more funner. And I feel like it's like at home, but it's actually at the hospital. It's fantastic for them to come in and escape from everyday life, you know, and come and play and enjoy and be silly and have some magic in their lives and, and just be able to be a kid. She'd come home, she'd say, Dad, you wouldn't believe it, we went to the Starlight Room and we made this and we did this and we played that. So in the most awful situation, the Starlight people brightened her day. Starlight Foundation can't make our daughter better, it can't take away our pain, but it gives us a break. And I mean, when you're on a three-year journey that hasn't finished, those breaks are really appreciated.